What up, what up, what up, y'all? Fort Worth Fabian in the building, man. We got a reaction today to Cosmos Lab, and we're doing World's Smartest Kid just reveals CERN. Open the portal to another dimension, y'all. CERN. So a lot of these uh, CERN videos have been going out, being released. And obviously, if you don't know CERN, European Organization for Nuclear Research, known as CERN. Intergovernmental organization operates the largest particle physics laboratory in the world, established in 50. Four based in northwestern suburb of Geneva, France, Switzerland border. So I mean, if you've seen CERN, essentially a lot of stuff that they're doing ties into a lot of things people ooh ah about. You know what I'm saying? Dimensions. A lot of the the tests and studies and stuff that they're doing there. Uh, a lot of people associate with you know traveling to different worlds, dimensions. A lot of technology that. Kept under wraps, but essentially same time um, deemed to be far advanced and uh, obviously not information for the public. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of the stuff they 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 uh, they research and the things that they they do there is pretty uh, it's on a lot of folks' radars in terms of interesting, intriguing, right? You know, portals to different dimensions, to different worlds, to different times, stuff like that. That's kind of wild. Even if you kind of date back to uh, Stranger Things. If y'all watch that show, I don't know if a lot of people are in tune with that Netflix special or Netflix show. Essentially, that's kind of like CERN. Where they have that portal. They got the scientists. They work in this laboratory. And they got stuff coming from different dimensions and stuff like that. I don't know, y'all. But I guarantee y'all they've seen some crazy stuff. I can confirm. I can't confirm that personally, but I'm betting 85, 90% sure. These CERN folks are probably dealing with some stuff they probably don't even understand fully. Now, imagine if they break open a barrier to a different dimension. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that would be the best for everybody. But go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. We're going to get into this video. Um, and see what Cosmos Lab has to say about this. I've done a few reactions to Cosmos Lab, man. Check out the interesting stuff playlist. I'll link to that in the description below. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications and check out everything I got going on in the description of the video, man. Let's get into this. That boy is too smart for his own good. CERN. World's smartest kid. In that tunnel sends beams of... There, there is a tunnel. And machinery inside that tunnel sends beams of energy in a vast circle. The particle accelerator altered the weight of one you. electron and therefore... In a vast circle. You hear this kid? He said, well, the technical of the square root of three of the particle accelerator of the atomic level sphere. What? What, boy? What did you say? Particle accelerator. Inside that tunnel sends beams of energy in a vast circle. Now the particle accelerator altered the weight of one electron and therefore sh destroyed our universe and shifted us into the universe that's directly next to it. And therefore things are different in this universe. It's easy to be overwhelmed huh? by the grandeur of the cosmos this, if you take sorry? the time to really look at what's going on. Science has just scratched the surface of reality, and nature's discoveries are far more stunning than anybody could have predicted. There is proof of free energy, unified field of consciousness, superhuman ability, parallel reality, and much more. So much that no one would assume a child could grasp it all. At the same time, one of the world's brightest kids has proposed some thoughts regarding CERN's capabilities and how scientists have exploited it to open a doorway to another realm. What arguments did this young genius put up? And how was the machine employed to create a new portal? Join us as we investigate how the world's smartest child genius stated that some physicists and the Large Hadron Collider created a portal. Who do you seek life guidance from? Will the views of a child suffice? No? What if the kid understands far more than you do about what's going on? And we are not referring about what's going on at school or in the country. Maybe genius. Think universal. The potential of children should not be overlooked. This world is full of brilliant young individuals. There are children such as Malala Yousafzai who accomplish incredible work and receive international recognition for their inspiring activities. At the age of 21, Elizabeth Nance worked at John Hopkins to create nanoparticles that could penetrate brain tissue. Brilliance has no age These limit kids are smart. and exceptionally remarkable ideas are frequently recognised. Then there are children like Max Laughlin. Max's idea regarding the Large Hadron Collider has sparked concern among experts all around the world. 
The young and genius kid was first recognised for mesmerising the globe with his insights about how the world works and how humans adapt to each new event uncovered in our universe. Mm. His new beliefs, on the other hand, are not simply facts, Boy, they are warnings. Talks already? The young prodigy recorded videos where he elaborated on his assertions and the portal that CERN researchers opened. For those who are unaware, he is also an inventor, having created a free energy machine at the age of 13. He displayed this technology and explained how the free energy device may change the way humans live all around the planet. Since then, he has been well known for his astute observations of fascinating events in our universe. These subjects are concerning our reality and the parallel universe. Some of his hypotheses about our world include how CERN experiments are threatening to break the fabric of our existence and move us to a parallel reality that is more comparable to ours. The idea cannot be challenged because this is not the first time European Organization for Nuclear Research scientists have undertaken similar tests. The Large Hadron Collider, a machine that splits up subatomic particles, is used for these tests. The machine is used to simulate the Big Bang. Mm. He argued that the experiments performed by this machine may have shattered the universe, causing humanity to exist in a parallel reality. Max went on to explain that there are an endless number of parallel universes in our multiverse. Similarly, there are an endless number of these universes. In each reality, we are hurled into an endless number of parallel realities. He said, we had an original timeline, but immediately the anomaly occurred during the... Y'all believe this, though, that we have multi-universes, man? Let's be honest. Keep it a bean. Comment down below, bro. Because it seems to be a theme nowadays, a fad. It's catching on. You got Enter the Multiverse, Spider-Man, oh, multi-universe, uh, all these Marvel movies, Spider-Verse, all this stuff, even uh, DC switching over to have alternate universes now. Very big in the comic or the superhero land, the superhero sphere. You know what I'm saying? But it seems more recently this conversation of multi or parallel universes with life differentiation is just a reoccurring thing. Why all of a sudden now are we pushing the narrative of how there's different universes? Pretty much saying you exist. You, you, you exist in a different universe. You just different. You slightly different. You, you, but you not you, you. No, no, man. Experiment, we were infinitely catapulted into an infinite number of parallel universes. As we talk, a reality switches into another universe somewhere along the way. This representation of limitless universes is our current reality. It's likely that CERN scientists noticed this abnormality in the space-time continuum. They went in and modified these classic events after discovering the anomaly, proving go. reality is not what we think it is. Playing with things this idea backs up reports that the European Organization for Nuclear Research is working on creating portals and making alterations to connect the universe. Max followed his argument by claiming that these notions about opening portals at CERN imply that we have other universes adjacent to us, Damn. and he related this to his idea of the Mandela effect. It also recounts how the particle accelerator changed one electron, shattering our reality and transporting us to another one. According to Max Laughlin, the Large Hadron Collider is the device that led humankind to move into a new universe. The European Organization for Nuclear Research built the world's most powerful particle accelerator within a 17-mile tunnel holding the huge electron-positron collider. It is a circular tunnel lying approximately 165 to 575 feet below near the French and Swiss borders. The Large Hadron Collider is designed to smash two particle beams and then study the effects. When the collision is complete, scientists see the atoms and molecules, as well as the outcomes produced by physics. Aside from Laughlin's theory, the Large Hadron Collider has been thought to be a destroyer since Bill Clinton's presidency. When the Large Hadron Collider was still in the design stages, numerous experts predicted that it would generate a black hole, devouring our world. Mm. These concerns motivated Francesco Calogero, a nuclear physicist at the University of Rome and co-winner of the Nobel Peace Prize in 1995, to publish an article titled might a laboratory experiment destroy planet Earth in 2000? The essay sparked a series of never-ending debates that lasted for years. These debates centred on whether or not the Large Hadron Collider would destroy our world. The article was widely discussed. 
These are those rhombohedron crystals in your pineal gland. When, when those crystals about, become uh, electrically activated, all of a sudden... was actually talking about uh, black holes... And even appeared day. on John Oliver's Daily Show in 2000. These debates centered on whether or not the Large Hadron Collider would destroy our world. The article was widely discussed and even appeared on John Oliver's Daily Show in 2009. On the episode, John interviewed a physics professor who said that the experiment had a 1 in 2 probability of producing a strong black hole capable of destroying Earth. By interviewing experts at CERN working on the Large Hadron Collider project, John Oliver validated these facts. The scientists then refuted the physics professor's assertions, stating that the Large Hadron Collider was not designed to be a doomsday machine, but rather for in-depth scientific that. investigation. These people are idiots, you know what I'm saying? Of course it's not designed to do that, but that's what happens when you can't control what you designed to do something. You know what I'm saying? Like, things get out of pocket, things get out of control. How many times have things been designed to do one thing, but they were used for other things, or things went overboard? It's just the clown world we live in, bro, to where, you know, who, human beings think they have the utmost complete control by testing. You know what a test is? Is you're trying something without really understanding the true effect of it. So how is you going to tell the world, that's not the intention, but the capability of colliding those atoms, so to speak, could directly cause that? But that's not our intention, though. But if it happens, oh, God, dickheads, man, come on, bro. Y'all sound real dumb. And it's funny because these people be so smart. Y'all scientists, but y'all sound so stupid sometimes, man. I'm not saying I'm a scientist, bro. I'm not as bright as y'all. I got common sense, though. When asked God, about dude. the Mandela effect, Max stated that he believes it exists. The Mandela effect occurs when a significant number of individuals believe a specific event occurred when it did not, mm -hmm. which is why the little genius's theory appears to be genuine. Fiona Broom Facts. coined the phrase Mandela Effect in 2009 and she built a website to describe her experiences with the phenomena. Broom was at a conference Ain't speaking with others about her memories of Nelson Mandela's death in the 1980s. Despite the fact that the former South African president did not die in prison in the 1980s, he died in 2013. However, when Broom spoke with others about her recollections of Nelson Mandela's death, she learned she was not alone. Several individuals also remembered watching television coverage of his death, including a speech given by his widow. Broom was taken aback by this development, as many individuals remembered the same incident in such vivid detail, although it had never occurred. That appears to be the Mandela effect, and it also supports Max Laughlin's hypothesis that we are living in an alternative extension of our universe. The large I agree with this. I ain't gonna lie, man. It's kind of like the Frosted Flakes Tiger, the box. People recall him, Tony the Tiger, looking a certain way. They say he didn't have a blue snout. Now the pictures of Tony the Tiger has a blue snout. Same with the Cheetos guy. There's so many brands and things throughout. Because we did this in like, I think I was in high school or middle school when we did this little comparison. And me personally, no, nah, no, nah, we did it in college, actually. Uh, that's the more the most recent time I recall it. I do remember doing it in my younger days as well, but I wasn't privy to that or up to it. But then it's like a my, my professor was showing like a before and after, and I swear I have a recollection of things being one way. You know what I'm saying? But everybody else, nah, it was never that way. It was always this way. I don't know. I don't know. So maybe this world's smartest kid is on to something, man. These guys at CERN just been messing with stuff. We've been switched and pushed to different realities and stuff like that, but... We don't even know it ourselves. It's like you remember in a past life that you think didn't even really exist. Collider is used by scientists to verify theoretical predictions in particle physics, particularly those linked to the standard model. Although the standard model can describe practically all events and particle physics, some occurrences remain unexplained. Since its completion in 2008, the Large Hadron Collider has had two successful runs, the first run lasted from 2010 to 2013, and the second from 2015 to 2018. Mm. These two runs each featured their own set of discoveries, world records and accomplishments. However, there are still unanswered questions concerning dark matter. Most stuff in space is normally invisible with. to humans, but because the gravitational presence of dark matter has been detected, scientists believe it exists. According to scientists, dark matter is the unseen cosmic structure that keeps galaxy clusters and galaxies together. 
We still don't know what it is, making it one of scientists' most intriguing mysteries. One of the reasons the Large Hadron Collider was built was to find an answer. When the collider was powered up for the first time in 2010, physicists had optimism that answers would emerge, but aside from the Higgs discovery, nothing else was seen. It was expected that there would be at least one particle that would explain the makeup of dark matter. However, there was no additional discovery. The Large Hadron Collider was shut down after its second run in 2018 to enhance maintenance. It reopened on April 22, 2022, after a three-year period of repair and upgrades. The third run was accomplished on July 5, a day after the 10th anniversary of the discovery of the Higgs boson. Another significant event occurred in January of this year, when scientists at CERN reported the discovery of X particles. Given their mysterious makeup, X particles have been given the appropriate name. They were identified for the first time among billions of other particles inside the Large Hadron Collider's quark gluon plasma. Scientists traced the birth of X particles back to a few millionths of a second after the Big Bang, when the cosmos was nothing more than an enormously hot trillion degree plasma soup packed with quarks and gluons. These are elementary particles that cool and unite to become the more stable protons and neutrons we know today. A minuscule proportion of the quarks and gluons unite prior to cooling that generate an extremely short-lived X particle. The researchers are baffled as to how elementary particles interact to generate the X particle structure. Scientists would have a better understanding of the sorts of particles that adorned the Earth's surface during the universe's early moments if they could figure out the particle's composition process. CERN researchers then recreated the findings of these X particles by shooting positively charged lead atoms at high speeds at one another. This process caused them to collide, releasing additional particles in a brief burst of plasma reminiscent of the universe's early days. Sound but that was only me. the easy part. The tricky aspect was searching through 13 billion head-on ion collisions for the X particles. The Large Hadron Collider is set to remain operational until 2025, after which it will be shut off for another two years to allow for more modifications and new installations. According to CERN scientists, the dream scenario would be the LHC ultimately unveiling the mysterious nature of dark matter, which makes up most of the known universe, but cannot be observed directly with ordinary instruments since correct measurements of dark matter are important in forecasting the expansion of the universe. Now let's hear your thoughts about CERN and its activities in the comments below. Oh no, I think they playing with fire. Nine times out of ten, these folks don't even know what they're doing. I mean, it sounds cool and all, like, they always want to get these type of Nobel Peace Prizes to be able to have all these revelations and all these studies, you know what I'm saying, that they, they worked on that end up you know, uh, blowing away the world or whatever it may be. But then in the process, you just destroying a galaxy or doing whatever, creating a black hole that can destroy the whole Earth. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really know, to be honest with y'all, but interesting video. This world's smartest kid already on to something. He's like 15 years old, already telling y'all that what y'all doing is playing with fire. But comment down below. Let me know y'all thoughts on this, man. Very crazy, very crazy when you really think about it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications so you're notified every time I drop a video. You can also go to the playlist page to get familiar with all the different forms of content I drop on the channel, man. Peace, love, prosperity. We'll catch you guys next time. We out.